hi guys welcome back again to my channel on today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to cut this top with a turn up sleeve if you're interested to know i went about this let's go into the video The first measurement you need is your nape to um, your desired sleeve length. Your nape is the middle of your um, neck backbone. So you measure it from there to your desired sleeve length. So mine was 13 and a half and I marked it there. Then I moved to my neckline. Um, my neck, I did um, 3.5 inches for the width, then 3 inches for the depth. And for the back neckline, I made use of the same 3.5 inches for the width and 1.5 inches for the depth. On where you have your 13 and a half inches, go down by half of an inch, just like you see me doing over there. Then slant it towards the neckline. So now we can start marking our normal measurement. I marked my bust line which was 11, then I rolled it down with ruler. After you are done with the bust line, we are going to move to the waistline. For my um, waistline, I made use of my nape to waist measurement. My measurements are taken from the back because the back has a flat surface um unlike the um front which has things that can obstruct the accurate measurement so my nape to waist measurement was 14 and a half so i just marked it and ruled it there The next to do is to mark our top length. My top length measurement is 23. Then I had it half inch seam allowance because I don't have fabric anymore. So I'll be folding in half inch. Then after that, we're going to be marking our main body measurement on those lines. So we moved to the um, bust line. Then I divided my bust circumference by four. Then I added 1.5 inches seam allowance because the clothes is not fitted. So I'll be sewing in half then one inches will be for ease the same applies to the waist your waist divided by four then 1.5 inches seam allowance the same too on the top length i'll be adding my hip measurement divided by four then i'll be adding 1.5 inches seam allowance so after we're done with this we move to our sleeve in here i need to tell you that the um, round sleeve measurement is not a fitted round sleeve is a little bit loose so when you're measuring it make it a little bit loose so yeah i divided mine by two which is seven so i marked seven over there and ruled it up then i added um one inch seam allowance to it making it a total of eight inches for the length so after you're done with that we will start connecting those lines together so the lines i connected first was the bust line 
So I connected the line of the bust line to the waistline together. Then from the waistline, I connected um, it to the hip line as well. Then for our sleeve, from the bust line, I connected it inwards towards the arm length, giving it a kimono look or kimono effect. For people who do a cut together sleeve, you get what I'm saying. So after you're done with all these, get ready to start cutting your clothes.
So after you are done joining the sides together, give the cloth a good press so it will come out nice. Try to hem the interface together too, if possible, with the sides as well. So that's all about this tutorial. So see you guys in my next video. Bye.